Hi, it's uh, Glenn again. Thanks so much for joining us as we continue our demonstration of the Wu Style 24 form. We'll be exploring the next couple of moves in Part 6. You'll discover that many of the movements and concepts we explore will be repeated and modified as we continue forward. We'll see a demonstration of this uh, concept uh, in this video. Before we begin though, let's take a moment or two and please like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please share any questions you may have in the comments section below. Remember that these videos are only a small part of your journey through Tai Chi. We are currently offering virtual classes, instructional DVDs, and books through Bakersfield Elite Martial Arts. Check out our website for more information regarding these classes and these items. If you're not in our area, please Google websites for Tai Chi schools and instructions in your town. You'll be surprised by the number of schools that offer Tai Chi instruction. Watch a class or two and see how the instructor and students relate and interact. Make sure you're comfortable with the instructor and please don't be afraid to ask questions. Check out more than one or two schools. So let's get started on our new moves. I'm going to change the order of uh, things a little bit to keep the uh, videos from getting too long. Normally we review the pro uh, previous concept discussed in the prior videos. If you do need to review, please check out parts 1 through 5. We'll go over the entire form up to the point where we ended instruction in this video. In part 5 we completed the first of three sections. As we completed Repulse the Monkey, we performed a double circle and re returned to the point where we started Hold the Ball. Watch as we begin Section 2 with Grasp the Swallow's Tail. What does this move remind you of? If you said part the wild horse's mane, good for you. Part of Tai Chi involves exercising the mind as well as the body, so good observation. We'll start with a new movement just as we did uh, in the very beginning. We'll step out uh, to the left, settle the weight, part the hands, and begin to lift the left arm. Instead of setting the left arm out and the right hand back by the waist. This time we're going to turn the palms so that they face each other. The right hand will be positioned on the same level as the left elbow. Make sure that your arms and your hands are relaxed. Now we need to drop our weight. It's very tempting at this point to lean forward but remember this will compromise your balance. Make sure you keep your shoulders over your hips in order to main, uh, maintain good uh, good balance and form. Only drop as low as is comfortable. Shift the majority of your weight to your right leg as the hand comes into the center line. Notice that the left hand is slightly ahead of the right hand. Turn the palm of the left hand in toward the torso with the thumb up. As the hands move in toward the torso, place the knife edge of the right hand in the crease of the left wrist. Shift the weight forward, ending in a bow stance, and press forward with both hands. As the hands move toward uh, arm extension, allow the hands to come apart. Shift the weight uh, back to the right leg. The arms are going to continue to move and will describe a circle on the horizontal plane as they circle around and end up in front of the shoulders. Once the hands reach the level of the shoulders, shift the weight forward into a bow stance and extend the arms forward, palms facing out and the fingers held vertically. We're going to go over this move a couple of times, but as with all the moves in the form, we will perform this more than one time. So there is a transition from here to the next move. 
Begin the transition by shifting the weight to the right leg and allow the left toe to lift so only the left heel is in contact with the ground. We are going to do a couple of things at the same time, so watch carefully. As we turn to the right, raise the right arm. The right arm is going to complete a circle when we turn 90 degrees. As the arm continues to circle to the outside, it's going to end up back in the hold the ball position. This time with the left hand on top, right hand underneath. Pull the right foot in, shift the weight to the left leg, and lift the heel of the right foot. From here, we're simply going to repeat the move that we just performed on the left, leading with the right arm instead of the left. So let's take a moment, let's look at a series of movements from a couple of different angles. Okay, in order to move things along, uh, we're going to add a couple of new moves. They're relatively simple and based on things we've already learned, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So here we go. We ended a grasp the swallow's tail on the right with both arms extended, the right foot forward in the bow stance. The next move is called wave hands like clouds. We're going to use this move as a transition to first single quip. Begin by drawing the left arm back. Allow the arm to draw back, drop down, and circle around toward the right arm. As the left arm completes the circle, both palms will be facing each other. We're going to continue describing circles with both the right and the left arms. As the left hand passes the right hand, it's going to continue upward, uh, moving in an arc. The right arm will lower at the same time. While the arms are moving in a circle, we're going to turn 90 degrees to the left, ending up in a left bow stance. The arms continue the circles. As we complete the turn to the left, the left hand will drop down and make contact with the right hand. Uh, right wrist as it rises, the left fingertips resting on the right wrist. We'll be looking at the right palm and the left palm is facing out. Shift the weight back to the right leg, keeping the left foot light. Rotate to the right 90 degrees, looking to the right. When we complete the turn, we're going to turn the right palm facing toward the body so it's facing out. The fingertips of the left hand are simply going to ride the wrist. So now when we complete the move, the right palm is facing out and the left palm facing in. So you should be looking at your left palm. Bring all of the fingers on the right hand and place the fingertips on the ball of the right thumb. This move forms what we call a chicken's beak. Look over the left shoulder as we step out with the left foot coming into a left bow stance. The left hand is going to remain close to the torso as we rotate 90 degrees. When the weight has settled, extend the left hand palm facing out. The right hand with the chicken beak is going to be slightly higher, just about even with the top of the head, and there's going to be a slight bend in both elbows. This position is called first single whip. If we have a first one, obviously there's going to be a second one, but that's going to come a little bit later in the form. For now, let's go over this again and look at it from a couple of different angles.
So there you have it. Please take the time to go over these movements a few times until you're comfortable with them. Look closely at the video and see if you can spot some of the familiar moves that we may have modified for this section. But for now, let's review the entire form and uh, we'll conclude at the, uh, at the point where we introduced our new moves. All right, well, that's about all the time we have for this session. Uh, soon we'll be posting uh, videos uh, showing the next part of the form. We really appreciate your participation. Uh, you can add any comments that you might have about these videos or uh, check our Facebook page or the uh, website, uh, www.bakersfieldelitemartialarts.com. Please like our channel and do subscribe. So in the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and remember, there's no wrong way to do Tai Chi, there is a better way. Hey, be safe and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.